All right, so we're going to talk a bit more about VS Code, um, specifically setting up a nice color scheme and font and all of that, if you care about it. Surprisingly, a lot of, well, maybe it's not surprising, but a large number of students ask me about this, so I'll just get it out of the way up front, but totally optional. So VS Code lets you change pretty much everything about it. Um, you can open up the preferences in a couple different ways. I think you can just click Settings here. So click that icon, or you can use that shortcut that it displays for me that's a command comma. And then I can change a bunch of settings around uh, things like the page size, the font specifically here, font size, the uh, a lot of technical settings once you get into code around how it should uh, autocomplete and different features and copying and pasting and things you don't really need to get into. And to find the theme in here, there's so many settings, I usually just search for it. I'll type theme. It's under appearance, I think. And we can change to one of the built-in themes, for example, solarized light, solarized dark, tomorrow night blue, all these different ones. But we can also download and install custom extensions where you can actually make your own theme from scratch. We also have themes for the icons. If you notice the icons up here, see if you can see much there. Those icons versus if I change to this one here, it's a really slight difference, honestly, but you can install different sets of icons or you can get rid of them entirely. But what I'm going to do is install the one that I like to use. Um, it is an extension and there are two ways of browsing extensions. You can go here, this little tab here is the extensions tab and we can search for things. We'll be installing quite a few uh, over the next, well, long time in the course. You can also search here. So the one that I want, well, I, you could just do theme if you wanted to browse different themes. Or in the browser, if we go over here, um, if you go to extensions at the visualstudio.com website or code.visualstudio.com extensions, we can browse them here, uh, trending, extensions, most popular, and you can filter by themes if that's what you want. So we're focusing on themes for now. You can click on one. Let's see what this looks like. This is Adam one dark theme. So you can install it. Um, usually what I do is just hop over here. If I find one that I like, search for it and then install. But I know the one I want is material theme. It's right here. And you can view, do they have a preview on this? It doesn't look like they have a preview right here. Well, I know that I like this one. <laughs> it's what I use on my other machines. So I'm gonna click install. There are many different ways, lots of install buttons, but I'll click one of them. And it automatically, it appears to just be using it. Um, and I can now select one of the ones, one of the themes. It comes with, what, 10 or so different variations. And I think the one I like is Pale Nights High Contrast. Um, I'm not positive that if that's exactly the one, but we can play around with it. If you go back to your settings, for me it's Command Slash, or Command Comma rather, or once again down here. And I go back to Appearance. Here's my color theme. I've got quite a few of them now. Material material theme, all these different ones. Let's see, Pale Night versus Pale Night High Contrast. I'm not even sure if I noticed much of a difference. And we can also do things like setting our um, icon theme here. We now get these material UI icons. So I'm going to go with that, I believe. So now we have slightly different icons showing up. Nothing major. So that's all I'm going to show here for now, so we can just keep moving. But if you're someone who wants to customize things further, um, there are lots of resources out there. There are so many extensions for VS Code. And I'll highlight some of the ones that I use as we learn different skills and different technologies. If you want to jump ahead, though, I do have a YouTube video I've published. It's called My Favorite VS Code Extensions. Uh, it's about 20 minutes. It covers, I don't know, 10 or so extensions that I recommend. Um, some of them are not going to make a lot of sense if you're a beginner. For example, the React snippets, not going to be very helpful. But something like Emmet and Live Server and Color Highlight, those will be very nice in the next couple of sections. But I'll point them out as we go. So there's this video. I'll include a link in the uh, resources for this video if you want to check it out. Otherwise, we are done and we can move on to HTML and finally write some code that's coming up.